I'm one of the museum educators at the library. So we're working with school groups that come, but also adults, seniors, all different variety, CAS College students. And um, one of the really fun things we get to do is create these drawers for our cabinet of curiosity. These are two drawers that I put together um, about six months ago. One involves items from our collection and the other one is kind of some personal items. We try and keep a variety of um, collections in the drawers. So what we're asking is um, community members have created drawers and there are nine of them. So you, you, know, you want to change them out every six months to a year because we have groups that are coming in and we want it to continue to be engaging. The whole purpose of the Cabinet Curiosity is to incite curiosity. So the Garden Tea Party takes a cute little small tea set that I borrowed from a friend. Um, these two cute little um, porcelain dolls that were donated to the museum, not really for our collections, but can be used in um, various um, education programs. And then what I did is I just cut apart a whole bunch of silk flowers and ivies and things like that, um, added garden tools, but then did a can you, can you find list. I'm always pleased when I see especially young children stopping and taking a couple minutes in order to find some of the objects that I have tucked in among the flowers. Some of the objects are listed, are actually part of the tea set. So a little tiny piece of cake that's on the little table, the little bunny that's on the plate here that says welcome friends. So. This drawer is not about in historical objects. It's certainly not a valuable drawer in terms of items that have been collected from around the world. It's more a drawer to engage and get people to stop for just a minute and see if they can find at least maybe some of the butterflies, dragonflies. Just take a little time and have some fun. So the native adornments is, I wanted to say native jewelry because that's a lot easier. The problem is it's not just jewelry. So there's also hair ties and um, things that were sewn onto cloth, just kind of to jazzy up their clothing. For example, shell and wooden beads um, from New Guinea. And this is um, boar's tusks um, that were worn by the Naga people in Burma as a nose ring. These necklaces are all Maasai, which is also African tribe. And they loved those small uh, glass beads. They're adding metal pieces as a little bit extra. Um, this one is an armband. So it looks like it's on a piece of uh, kind of leather. These two are more of a choker style. Our museum was started by someone who wanted to share with the community, Mr. Robert Hubbard, who went to Egypt to buy a mummy. And, you know, he could have had all of that Egyptian collection in his own home and kept it just for himself. But his idea was to create the museum and to share with the community, knowing that most people aren't traveling. Museums are a repository of history, a way of keeping history alive, keeping history interesting and engaging, and hopefully instilling curiosity at the same time.